Nintendo and Game Freak had some crazy news last week with new Pokemon games announced. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are two of the Pokemon Yellow remakes that are coming out in November of this year, and a full-fledged 8th gen core RPG will also be coming out late 2019. But what we're here to talk about today is the Pokemon spin-off called Pokemon Quest, which is available to download for free right now on the Nintendo eShop. I'll definitely be covering the Let's Go and the 8th gen games when they come out, but let's focus on Pokemon Quest for now. So what exactly is Pokemon Pokemon Quest. Nintendo is not fooling anybody with this game, and it's first and foremost a mobile game. It's got all the features of your typical phone game like requiring energy to do tasks, having microtransactions, and being mostly touchscreen control. And also the fact that there's actually a mobile version for your phones coming late June. Here's the general premise of the game. You start off on the island being able to choose one of five starter Pokemon. Eevee, Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. With their help, you can undergo what they call expeditions. This forms the main gameplay loop. Expeditions take place in various biomes of the island, and your Pokemon expedition will auto-move through each map and battle wild Pokemon that come out in waves. Each Pokemon has up to two moves that you can manually activate, but there's also an auto-battle mode that does it for you, another hallmark of phone games. Each of these levels grant you EXP and loot as well. The other major component of the game is cooking. With various ingredients you find on your expedition, you can cook up recipes that attract wild Pokemon to your base. Different recipes attract different types to your base, allowing you to befriend them, and once you do so, you'll essentially have captured them and can use them whenever you want on your expedition teams. The way they decided to incorporate the energy system is as follows. Cooking itself is not directly time-gated, but instead determined by the number of expeditions you go on. So one recipe may require you to go on two expeditions before it's completed, and each expedition costs one energy. In turn, one energy will take you 30 minutes to regenerate, so essentially the cooking system is also indirectly time-gated. In addition, you don't get a large energy pool to start with, and it'll allow you to go on 5 expeditions before you have to wait again. It does feel restrictive being limited to 5 expedition runs at a time, but one positive is that the cost of expedition doesn't increase. As for in-game purchases, the PM ticket is the premium currency, but interestingly enough, you actually can't purchase those directly. You're forced to buy the expedition packs that gives you a bunch of additional items as well as the PM tickets. You also get 50 free a day, which just enough to expand your inventory once, so that's nice. The other method of getting these tickets is completing quests, and I've gotten a fair amount of them since I started playing, but I don't think the quests themselves refresh, so there's a limited amount you can get from this method unless they add more in the future. As far as microtransactions go in mobile games, this is actually rather tame, even in comparison to Nintendo's own Fire Emblem Heroes. There are a few tiers of expedition packs you can buy, which gives you unique buildings, increase the capacity of your energy, allow you to cook two recipes at once, and a few Pokemon with unique abilities. Though buying the expedition packs does give somewhat of a significant advantage, most notably being able to cook multiple recipes at once, you can definitely play the game without spending any money at all. My biggest problem with the game is the controls. The game is clearly not made with the Switch in mind because the Joy-Con controls are horrendous. You're basically using the thumbstick as a cursor and the other buttons don't provide functionality. Using the Switch's touchscreen is a way faster and better experience, but it also means that you can't play this comfortably while docked. As far as mobile games go, I think Nintendo has done a pretty good job at it. They currently have two hugely successful mobile games in Fire Emblem Heroes and Super Mario Run, and I believe Pokemon Quest will be just as popular as those ones. Of course, if mobile games don't really interest you, then you can ignore this completely, because this is very much a mobile phone game first. There's no word as to whether the Switch and mobile versions will be able to be synced through your Nintendo account, so it may be better to wait until the phone version comes out, because I think the experience there will be better. But if you're just curious as to whether or not you should play it and you have a Switch right now, I don't see why you shouldn't download the game and give it a shot considering it's free. Pokemon Quest also sets an interesting precedent for the presence of phone games on Switch. It's a very real possibility that Nintendo will bring their other mobile games, Fire Emblem Heroes and Super Mario Run to the Switch in the future. And if you've been paying attention to Nintendo news, they've recently announced their partnership with Psy Games to produce a new mobile RPG called Dragalia Lost, which will release this summer in Japan. Psy Games is most famous for their mobile games Grand Blue Fantasy and Shadowverse. Whether or not Nintendo decides to go down this route in the future is unknown, but from a strictly business standpoint, it seems like a good decision. Whether it's actually good for the platform and the user experience is questionable, especially given the atrocious state of the eShop right now. I'll have a separate video discussing the problems with the eShop in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So if you've already played Pokemon Quest, what are your impressions, and what do you think about the new Pokemon games that are coming out? Let me know in the comments down below. For more Nintendo Switch and PC gaming content, hit that subscribe button because there will be a lot more content coming in the next few months. I'm also currently running a Steam gift card giveaway, so I'll leave a link to that down below. That's it 
it from me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.